Hi and welcome to another episode of Cafe Chronicles. Today we're going to get this girl ready for a safety inspection. Dan's after bucking up her safety inspection so we can get it plated and insured. So today we're going to put some bar end mirrors on, we're going to put a horn on and make sure it's good and safe and it's going to pass the test. So let's get stuck in. So ignore the top part here uh, from where the string was. You're not really gonna see that anyway. The horn's kind of tucked away. But this entire outer ring here was just mild steel gray. And this was black but a little bit worn out. It looked kind of gross. And now that everything else on the bike looks pretty, it really stood out as a piece of hot garbage. Um, now the only thing is the horn, horn is inside this cover. So you wanna make sure that you don't soak it with paint that you cover up this hole here and just make sure that you give these connectors a bit of a buff with something so that you have exposed metal again before you hook everything up. Otherwise you just insulate the entire circuit, but blacked out horn. We should call this episode, Will She Honk? <laughs> I hear the angels now. $25 on Amazon. <laughs> Moto Gadget have a mirror that like we really love and it's actually just stainless steel I think or no it's aluminum even maybe and it's polished to such a high degree that it actually is a mirror. It's really cool, so it's just one piece of steel. It's either aluminum or stainless, I can't remember. But these ones are not that. <laughs> these ones are budget. Have a look in the link in the description. We keep a list of all the parts that we use and the prices and, and all that stuff. Um, but um, I think these are like 25 bucks on Amazon or something like that but hopefully they'll do the trick and they'll get us through a safety and Dan will be able to see behind them. You'll notice here that basically this piece goes into the, into the handle and there's a screw at the end and when you tighten the screw, it basically pulls this piece back through this split collar. The split collar opens up inside the handlebar and that's how you get a good fit. This here is a, you got this other sleeve here and this is for to fit um, a larger handlebar which we have so we're gonna have to jam this in and then basically put in the other piece and then we're good to go We, uh, we have a short little uh, episode for you this week, but hopefully, um, yeah, we're a little closer. There, 
th this is the crappy stuff at the end of a build that is really kind of slow and boring and it's stuff you gotta do though, right? You need mirrors, you need turn signals, you need a horn. It's just stuff you need. Uh, but you know, we're a little closer. Like we said, Dan has it booked up for like two weeks from now. Still a little bit of flaws that we need to work out. We need to make sure that the brakes are working properly. We need to calibrate the speedometer. Um, and then just flesh out any other things that a anal technician might fail us on because as much as we don't want to buy something twice, I don't want to buy a safety inspection twice. Yeah, and as well as that too, like going overboard now and making sure that this thing is like really, really nice and running really well, it, it means that as soon as we get that safety, Dan's going to get the plate on it, get the insurance sorted, and he's going to want to ride it right 240 away. on the highway. <laughs> so, you know, as soon as he does, you know, I'd like to think this thing is absolutely perfect and ready to go. So let's spend time now, you know, kind of uh, working on that. And in fact, right after we finish up, Dan and I are going to get out on this thing just around the court and just try it out, run it a little bit and just try for little odds and ends and check over things. And I think the secret to this and making sure these things are safe or just do that lots of little you know just around the driveway around here there's a little court here so it's like a little dead end a cul-de-sac so you know go around check for things tighten things you know put loctite on there and you know we're good to go also if you'd like to support the channel and um, you can pick up uh, t-shirts on cafechronicles.ca we'd be very grateful and a big thank you to everybody who's bought t-shirts already it really helps us just kind of buying little odds and ends and paint and little bits and pieces so thank you until next week stay safe